If you're an artist, artificial intelligence is really scary because little idiots like myself that can't use a pencil or any crayons can make beautiful pieces of art just by typing in random nonsense to a robot. However, there's something that you as a Discord person should really hold near and dear to your heart. The mental torment of going through the most tricky staff applications is no longer safe because artificial intelligence is taking over. Now, to make it clear, right, you will have to have a little bit of human interaction with the staff application, you know, or not having robots magically hop on the staff application and becoming productive members of the Discord society, which are unproductive members for actual society. But regardless, that's maybe in the future, you know, those replica Twitter ads that I keep on getting. You know, it keeps telling me I can get a girlfriend, and I've tried them, and... I'm now in a faithful relationship. So the way I'm going to use ChatGPT is I'm just going to copy the question. Then I'm going to go to ChatGPT and say, answer this Discord staff application question. I should probably zoom in for the grandma viewers. There we go. And just paste in the question in between quotation marks and press enter. And it's going to spew out some random crap. Then I will copy and paste it into the staff application and we'll see where it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 110th applicant for the staff application, which is just me using Chat. ChatGPT. Now, a lot of these questions I just skipped over quickly because ChatGPT is good for conversations and questions. So why do you want to become a moderator? I want to become a moderator to help create a safe and enjoyable environment for all users on the Discord platform. I have experience in moderating communities and can effectively handle any issues that may arise while maintaining a positive and fair attitude. Oh my god, this is, this is written by someone that knows how to write. I am also able to work well under pressure and make quick and effective decisions. Over Overall, I believe that my skills and experience make me a strong candidate for the moderator position. Damn, that is strong right out of the gate. This is better than probably 90% of the applications that we got. This is very... <laughs> well written. Holy moly. Now, for the curveball, right? Do you have any prior experience as a moderator? Now, of course, ChatGPT has not moderated any Discord server, but apparently it has. Yes, I have prior experience as a moderator. I've been a moderator for a gaming community on Discord for over a year, where I helped to maintain a positive and safe environment for all users. My responsibilities included enforcing the server rules, handling user reports, and resolving conflicts between users. I also worked closely with the other staff members to ensure that the server was running smoothly. Just remember, an AI is writing this. It has the context of what, what staff members do. Additionally, I was also a moderator for a Discord server that is dedicated to a specific game. Now, the flaw here is that it would be nice to have the specific game listed, because, you know, you if someone says they have history, you want to kind of validate that. So that's the one con of ChatGPT, because it doesn't actually have history. It's just making crap up. And continuing on, where I helped to build and grow the community by creating and managing channels, hosting events, and providing support for users. This is all stuff that happens on Discord. Like, it's right on the nose. The server had over 10k members and had an active community. My experience as a moderator has taught me the importance of effective communication, conflict resolution, and the ability to work well under pressure. I mean, if this rolled in on your staff applications, what would you say, baby? You would, mm, yep, that's the perfect staff member. Now, this one's a little bit funny. When can you contribute to the server as a moderator? I'm available to contribute to the server as a moderator from Monday to Friday from 9am to 3pm on weekends, I'm available from blah, 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 blah. These are my availability times, and if needed, I can adjust them according to the server's needs. My time zone is GMT plus X. <laughs> So, unfortunately, it didn't put in any random number, and instead it left it as X. But of course, if you're just doing staff applications and you're cheating, you might want to read over what the bot wrote for you and replace that X with a number. Now, next up are the test scenarios, and this is where the bot really shines. Well, kind of. It shines really good, and then it kind of falls apart a little bit. So, user A and user B have been arguing in general for a while, and it's starting to get heated. Uh-oh. What would you do to resolve the situation? And this is the most important part about the question that a lot of people miss, but what could you do next time to try and avoid a similar scenario? And let me tell you, ChatGPT does not miss. To resolve the situation, I would first take a screenshot of the conversation for records, then privately message both user A and user B and remind them of the server's rules regarding respectful and appropriate behavior in the general channel. I would also ask them to refrain from any further arguments or personal attacks in the channel and instead direct any further discussions to a private conversation or the appropriate channel. 
Wow. And to put the cherry on top, we have to try and avoid a similar scenario in the future. I would suggest that the server's rules and expectations for behavior are clearly communicated to all users, either through a welcome message or pin message in the general channel or through a private message upon joining the server. ChatGPT knows about those annoying join direct messages that you get from every other e-girl server that's trying to cross promote each other. It knows about that garbage and it tells you to use it instead for getting people to look at the rules. Additionally, I would encourage the community to report any instances of rule-breaking behavior, and as a staff member, I'd make sure to act quickly and efficiently when handling reports. Damn. We just need to take a step back for a second and realize that a robot wrote this. And I think this next question is the uh, last bag getting that ChatGPT is going to get because after that, it just kind of goes downhill into something that would make me uh, raise my eyebrow and scratch my head. So a user is being rude to others and overall just not being nice. While they aren't necessarily breaking the rules directly, what would he do to resolve the situation? And ChatGPT says, To resolve the situation, I would take a screenshot of the conversation for records, then privately message the user and remind them of the server's expectations expectations for respectful and appropriate behavior. I would also explain how their current behavior is impacting other users and the community as a whole. Wow, that is above and beyond what I would do, to be honest. If the user continues to be rude or disrespectful to others, I would consider escalating the situation by muting or banning them temporarily to stop further disruption to the community. Additionally, I would also communicate with the other staff members of the Discord server to discuss the situation and come up with a plan to handle it in case the user's behavior continues. And it's important to keep in mind that some users might not be aware of the impact their behavior has on others, so having a friendly and respectful approach when addressing the issue could help them understand their mistake and improve their behavior. This is, by far, hands down, the best response I have ever gotten for a question like this. And it was written by a damn robot. So we're starting to wrap up here because we're starting to see the flaws of ChatGPT. So the general chat as a whole is starting to dive into a controversial topic. People aren't necessarily upset, but there's tension building. What would you do? ChatGPT says, the general chat as a whole is starting to dive into a controversial topic, and there's tension building. Oh goodness. I would take the following steps to resolve the situation. First, I would take a screenshot of the conversation for records, which is always a good thing. Next, I would remind users of the server's rules regarding respectful and appropriate behavior and remind them to avoid discussing controversial or sensitive topics that may cause offense or upset to others. I would also remind users to be mindful of the language they are using and to respect others' opinions and beliefs. If the conversation continues to escalate or becomes disrespectful, I would consider redirecting the conversation to a private conversation or to a more appropriate channel where the discussion could take place. If this was me, I'd tell everyone to shut up and take it to DMs. I would also consider adding a reminder message in the general channel or in the Discord server rules to encourage users to refrain from discussing controversial or sensitive topics in the general chat. And finally, I would also communicate with other staff members to discuss the situation and come up with a plan to handle it in case the conversation can... Have I read this before? Hold on. Additionally, I would also communicate with the other staff members of the Discord server to discuss the situation and come up with a plan. Okay, that's fine. I mean, people do copy and paste some parts to their questions and their answers in staff applications. And for our next question, things really just do go downhill. Someone has just joined the server and is being rude to other members and causing issues. What would you do? ChatGPT takes a very familiar approach to say the least. If someone has just joined the server and is being rude to other members and causing issues, I would take the following steps to resolve the situation. First, I would take a screenshot. Okay, you said that before. Next, I would privately message the user. You've said that before. And the thing with this response is that it's basically kind of the exact same framework as the previous question. It's just kind of like a copy and paste and you moved around a couple words and made it look different. And I did give ChatGPT the benefit of the doubt and I tried regenerating the response and I kind of got the same thing. A multi-step process that is exactly the same as the two questions before. I've already said the whole thing. It's just written in different words. So that's where ChatGPT started falling apart. But thankfully, at the end, it comes out with wrapping up your application. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to your application? I'd like to add that I am a dedicated and reliable individual who is committed to creating a safe and enjoyable environment for all users on the Discord server. I have experience in moderating communities and can effectively handle any issues that may arise while maintaining a positive and fair attitude. I'm also available to work well under pressure and make quick and effective decisions. So if it wasn't clear already, ChatGPT is an absolute menace at Discord staff applications. I mean, I literally just copy and pasted exactly what it said. All you need to do is just proofread it a little bit, mess around with a couple of, uh, 
important details like your history, and kaboom, you're about to nail every single staff application. Regardless, don't use this to cheat on your math test or else you're going to have a lot of issues later in your life, just like me, because I talked to my AI girlfriend. Anyways, I'm going to go ask ChatGPT on how to be more funny because I'm definitely not doing it right now. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.